Now to the local high school star quarterback who was killed while trying to help another driver. Florida Highway Patrol says 18-year-old Nick Miner was using his truck to try and pull a vehicle back onto the road when he was hit by another car. This happened early yesterday on Dallas Boulevard. News 6's Mark Lehman is at East Ridge High School where grief counselors are available. Here at the crash scene, we're getting a better idea of how all of this unfolded. The impact happening close to the roadway here, and we're seeing tire marks right here etched into the ground from the vehicle that the teen was helping to tow out. We're also hearing from friends of the teen who are mourning his loss. I just wish like, we all could have helped him more. Arlen Wadsworth stopped to pay respects to his friend at a memorial alongside Dallas Boulevard. I was with him the whole day, and then now I just can't go back and see him anymore. He just, just gone. He's among several trying to make sense of the tragic death of 18-year-old Nick Miner, the star quarterback at East River High School. Great person. He's always willing to help all his friends. And that's exactly what he was doing around one Sunday morning. The Florida Highway Patrol says Miner was helping tow a friend from the side of the road near Oberly Parkway. That's when another car slammed into his truck, the impact killing Miner and injuring two others. He's trying to pull out our friend and it just cost him his life. Classes resuming at East River High this morning as grief counselors were available. Students and staff coming together as so many in the community are struggling with the loss. It's definitely going to be hard for the whole football team because anybody on that football team, he, he was our, he's our QB. In addition to grief counselors, East River High School says all after school activities are canceled for today. The family of the teen has also set up a GoFundMe to help with funeral expenses. We posted a link to that under this story on clickorlando.com. In Orange County, Mark Lehman getting results. News 6.